I think we're just about ready to begin. Uh, first of all, thank you for hanging around from the last event or to, uh, to attend this if you weren't at the forum earlier. I'm Carol Weber from the League of Women Voters of Glenview Glencoe. As you've heard many times, only because it's terribly important, the League is a nonpartisan organization, meaning we don't support or oppose any candidates. But in addition to that, we also study and advocate for important issues. One of our primary goals is to educate voters about democracy. That's why we're here today, and that's why you are here today. Before we start, I'd like to mention, um, if you didn't hear earlier, um, about one other election of interest to Glenview and the surrounding area, and that is the Oakton College <clears throat> Community College race for Board of Trustees. They have 13, count them, 13 candidates for three open positions. You can get more information, uh, the list of candidates, and um, information on a voter guide um, at the table outside, directly to the right. This, as far as I can remember, is the first time in Glenview that we have sponsored a meet and greet for uncontested candidates. We thank all of you, all of you candidates, for appearing today. They are most likely going to win their elections they don't have opponents. In spite of that, we're all here for an exchange of information, but it will be different from the forum that you were just at. Each of these candidates will have three minutes to introduce themselves and to share their views. Once all the candidates have spoken, there will not be general questions from the audience as in the previous forum. Instead, each group of candidates will meet with you in designated areas around the room. And you see the signs all the way around the room. The school's on this side and park and library over here. Um, those designated areas where you can meet the um, candidates to ask your questions and um, mention your concerns to them. As I said, each candidate will have three minutes. Timers will let them know. Timers, you want to raise your hands? Uh, they will let them know when they have 30 seconds left. Candidates will speak in this order, Glenview School District 34, Glenview, <clears throat> Glenview, Glenbrook High School District 225, uh, Park District Board of Commissioners, and then the Glenview Public Library. We're going to start with District 34, which has four candidates for the four open positions. They are John Heggy, Natalie Jektorowicz, Michael Corman, and Scott Nelson. Um, so if they're, they're just going to come up one after another and reintroduce themselves, we're going to start with John. And you can come up here. Full audio. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, no pressure. That's perfect. Okay. Well, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, my name is John Heggy, and uh, I'm running again for the uh, District 34. Um, I, you, I guess the, the what I enjoy most about being on the District 34 is interacting with a lot of people within the board who are, are very reasonable minded and we have different ideas and different uh, thought processes but everyone's is for the common good which is the common cause of the board. So I uh, I don't have a whole lot to say on that, um, other than I'm you know, excited to do it again. It's a lot of work, but uh, it's very rewarding, and I thank everyone for the opportunity to uh, have another term. Thank you. Hey, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Natalie Jektorowicz, and I'm running for re-election for the District 34 School Board. I wanted to thank the Women's League of Voters today for putting this together. It's a really nice chance for folks to come in and get to know us, and we can get to hear some of your thoughts as well. And I just want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, my husband and I have lived in Glenview for over 20 years. We have two children. Our oldest son is a sophomore in high school, and our youngest son is a sixth grader at Atiyah. Um, I have really, as John said, I agree. I've really enjoyed my time on the board. And my reason for 
running for re-election um, doesn't really differ very much from the reason that I ran originally, and it is the students of our school district. They continue to amaze and inspire me, and I would love to have the opportunity to keep working on their behalf to make sure that they get the best education possible given the financial resources that we have. Um, that's the other big component of our job is to make sure that our decisions are made with fiscal responsibility so that the entire community is well served, so that we have good schools that are financially sound. And that is you know, the guiding mission, as I see it, of our school board. Uh, it's been a wonderful four years working on the school board. I see great potential for our future, and it'll be an honor and a privilege to continue to work for the district. Thank you. Well, good afternoon, and I'm also uh, thankful for the League of Women Voters for uh, hosting this event today. Thank you for doing that. My name is Mike Corman. Uh, first and foremost, I'm Sophie's dad. Uh, that's, uh, she would be unhappy if I didn't mention that first and foremost. I am a retired Navy Master Chief, spent 25 years in the Navy Seabees, uh, building things around the world. Uh, and here in the United States, I spent uh, 10 years uh, in Minnesota, well, five years here and five years in Minnesota building Target stores for Target Corporation, uh, and moved back here about 18 months ago uh, intentionally to Glenview. My wife is from Wilmette. Uh, she works down at UIC. I have three main uh, points that I'm going to focus on that, that are important to me. Uh, one is class size. My daughter's uh, experiences have taught me that not every student learns the same. It's important that we identify, uh, if you think about the time when I went to school or maybe when you went to school, the learnings that we have today are much different on how kids, uh, young people learn. And it's important that we get the best and most out of the uh, school system for each individual student learner. Um, second, I would like to bring my uh, experience in construction and facilities management into the uh, four that really drove me to uh, decide to run for school board. Uh, it, was, it was important to me when I saw some of the challenges that the school board is going to have in the next couple of years as they are evaluating uh, projects and priorities. Uh, I thought that I could lend a credible uh, voice in construction and facilities management for that. Um, and then third is, um, oh, I lost my train of thought, sorry about that. Uh, in any case, uh, I'm really excited to be here. I think it's important to serve. I have served uh, other times in my life, and I am on the Glenview Plan Commission, which I plan to continue to do. Uh, I think this is, in my world, this is my third act. Uh, first act was uh, military, second act was uh, target, and now I get to give back to the community, which I'm, I'm very honored to be able to do. So thank you so much for having us, and I hope to chat with as many of you as we can. Good afternoon, uh, my name is Scott Nelson. Uh, I've lived in Glenview for about 10 years now. We moved from Chicago. I have three children, a senior in high school, a freshman in college, and a freshman at GBS also. So all my kids went through District 34. I know the district pretty well, K through eight. I really have spent a lot of time working in the Glenview Education Foundation for the last seven years. I've served as a chair. I've served as operations chairman and vice chair. I really am passionate about service and I've always liked to give back and I feel like this is the next step that I have to do. So I'd appreciate your support and thanks again. I'd also like to thank Sam Ock for all his years on the board. It's finally time and I'm happy he is comfortable enough to leave the board in our hands. Thanks. We're going to move on now to District 225. There will be three candidates for three open positions. Two of the candidates, because you see just, just Joel Taub here, um, Skip Shine and uh, Marcello Steinberg had scheduling difficulties, so they're unable to be here, but we're happy that Joel is. Good afternoon, uh, I'm Joel Taub. I live in Northbrook since 1985. I'm married to the same woman for 43 years, and my Amy. I've raised three children with Amy, uh, all who attended GBN and District 27 schools. Um, the qualifications for running is, this is my fourth term. Since it's unopposed, it's assumed I'm gonna be running for my fourth term. I'm just finishing 12 years. I've served since April of 07 to the current. Um, I'm collaborative. 
I'm creative and I'm caring. Um, I have the institutional knowledge to effectively serve on this board. Um, I'm running to provide continuity for the new superintendent. We've had a principal and, and superintendent, Dr. Riggle, who's been uh, tremendous for our, our district and the community for 21 years. He stayed an extra year to help us uh, find uh, a great candidate in um, Dr. Charles Johns. And um, I was uh, very impressed with him and hope that with my institutional knowledge of the workings of the board, we'll be able to help him transition smoothly into, the, into his a very important role. There are certain, there are certain um, reasons that I'm staying on the board as well that I feel very uh, passionate about. As, as you know from every day on the news, safety uh, is a very important issue, and the board has taken on a three-year uh, three program to spend uh, quite a lot of money to make sure that the schools are as safe as they can be. We've done some, we've done some um, very strong things so far as far as safety. We've hired a director of uh, safety who was the former uh, com commandant of the uh, Northbrook Police Department who has 28 years in, in policing, and he is heading up our our safety effort at, at both uh, both high schools in the district. So the other the other thing is that the cost of doing business keeps rising, and one of the biggest one of the biggest challenges that we have as a district and as a community is healthcare. And healthcare is, is my passion. I've been in the healthcare business for over 40 years, and I lend my expertise on a daily basis to the board and their cost containment committee to, look, to keep pricing and benefits at a level that helps us attract the right kind of people to stay in the district. We have very little turnover. The people who work within the district are very happy, and one of those is because we pay them reasonably well and we give them, we give them um, uh, great benefits. My top priorities are to maintain the excellence of the educational offerings we have at the schools, the smooth transition, as I spoke of earlier, and also to raise the awareness of the drug and alcohol use in the schools and deal with enforcing that non-use. I want to make sure that we maintain the financial strength of our district, which is AAA rated, one of the few, and I guess I'm out of time. So, thank you. Now we're moving along to the Park District Commissioner. There will be two candidates for the two open positions, and they are Dave Tosh and Joe Sullivan. <clears throat> Thanks, Carol. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Thanks to the League of Women Voters. Um, Dave Tosh and I are running for the Park District. Uh, my name's Joe Sullivan. Uh, my wife and I moved here in 2002. Uh, our family's been here since then. I've got a senior daughter at GBS who plays soccer with Scott Nelson's daughter. They won in overtime today, big win. Um, I've also got a, th thank you. I've also got a sophomore son at GBS. Uh, he plays soccer as well and is also on the hockey team. Uh, my background is I'm an attorney. I've been practicing in-house at a variety of companies for the last uh, 20 years. I worked at Kraft Foods for nine years over in Northfield, uh, left shortly after the merger with Heinz, and I've spent the last two and a half years commuting down to San Antonio working for an integrated oil refiner until we sold them as well and merged with Marathon Petroleum. So I left there just a few months ago, and I'm very excited for this opportunity to work with the Park District. Um, I, you know, a lot of it was new to me. A lot of it was very familiar. Uh, my family's been going to the park district facilities. I've been a member at the park center. My kids have played at the ice center, have played at all the different parks over the years. And, you know, I really feel like the park district has been a big part of our family. Um, I said when I was talking to Mike a while ago about it that um, I think that aside from the folks that are on our street, I think that we've made almost all of our friends and our, our you know, really feel a, a sense of community by who we've met on the sidelines and playing on the different fields. So I really feel like the park district has been a big part of why I think Glenview is such a great community. Um, and so that's what I want to do is continue to help them go along. The park district has, um, you know, a couple of big projects coming up with the ice center need to be completed and the improvements project um, uh, over at uh, the Grove. And I think that we got to make sure we get that done and do that well, and then hopefully just uh, continue to have the park district be one of the best park districts in Illinois. So thanks a lot for coming out. I really appreciate it.
Thank you, Joe, for taking some of my speech away from me. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, my name is Dave Tosh. I've been a resident of Glenview for 47 years. Um, I've been on the Park District Board for six years now. I feel honored and it's been a privilege to be on this board. And Joe, you're gonna have as good a time as I have had. Um, I think Park District Commissioners need to be accessible and uh, to be visible so people can ask questions that they don't know the answers. We can certainly find out the answers for you. Um, all of us are smarter than any one of us. And I know a point question was um, in church two weeks after I was on the board six years ago, one of the ushers was a friend of mine dropped a note in my lap um, during the service and it said, there's a couple of nets down at one of the parks. I'm not sure which park it was, but a couple days later the nets were back up. Uh, then six weeks ago, uh, one of our uh, members of our church said they had trouble signing in for a park district at the park center program, and that was also taken care of. Um, no, I won't put you going to church. But it's a lot of things that are, that are we're out there, they see us, and they know where to go with a question or answer. Um, I've been using the park district uh, facilities and programs for like 50-some years. Uh, when I first started teaching at Glenview Junior High, which is now John A. Springman School, I... Um, I was using the park district for a number of things. I refereed uh, uh, park district basketball on Saturday morning. I did supervised high school and junior high school dances, park district dances. I was a camp counselor at Cole Park. Um, I was a ranger at the golf course. I was also a park district security uh, in the evening. And I always thought being a ranger was more stressful than being a park district security person at night. Um, I also um, was a point league manager for 21 years. Um, I um, umpired Little League games for 12 years. Um, I was on the Zoning Board of Appeals for 11 years. I refereed high school basketball and college basketball for 38 years. I tell people I got yelled at for 38 years. Um, I think our big goal as a park district is to keep our AAA bond rating up, and uh, that's very important for everyone. Um, I also think that we need to make sure that we have progressive programs that are doing more and more good things for kindergartners through senior center, senior people. Um, there's a lot of programs that are out there that we need to maintain. And I always say that as far as, thank you, um, as far as officiating or coaching or teaching or being on the zoning board or being a park district uh, commissioner, I think it's important to have people say, why did you quit, not why don't you quit? I'm not quite ready to quit just yet. I think I still have some things to offer for this village, and I'm so proud to be a member of the board and to be a citizen of Glenview. Thank you. And now finally, we have the um, three candidates for the three open positions in the Library Board of Trustees, Thomas Blanchard, David Johnson, and Alan Reuter. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Tom Blanchard, and I want to thank the League of Women Voters for um, having this event and inviting me to it. Um, my experience with the Glenview Library up to now has been as a patron, and I'm excited to go behind the scenes and do my part to keep the library as a vibrant pillar of the Glenview community. Speaking of Glenview, I consider myself a product of the community, having grown up in Glenview attending Pleasant Ridge, Springman, where that gentleman was my gym teacher, Mr. Tosh, <laughs> and GBS before heading to Northwestern undergrad in Michigan for law. I've been a corporate lawyer for the last 18 years. Um, after a period of living out of town um, for my education and my early career, <clears throat> my wife and I chose to come back to Glenview to raise our two young daughters who are currently hanking hawks. Having young children, the library has always played an important role in my family's activities. <clears throat> so I have a renewed understanding and appreciation of the impact the library can have on children of all ages. I decided to run for trustee because the library is so important for our community, and not just for families of young children, but for everyone of all ages. And I, I really mean that. <clears throat> I believe my training as a lawyer has ingrained in me the ability to see both sides of an issue, to weigh the consequences um, of those, uh, of the different issues and considering the unintended consequences. Um, I believe and I've been told I'm open-minded and one of my strengths is the ability to work well with others, which I've done on prior boards. 
Um, more importantly, I want to be a steward for the library and the community to maintain the great work that the, the board has already done, as well as the staff, um, to work with them to meet the changing needs of the community, as put forth in the new strategic plan and marketplace and innovation center initiatives. I believe in the seven core values that guide the library's future, welcoming environment, exemplary service, community engagement, lifelong learning, collaboration, innovation, and also fiscal responsibility. I'm excited about and share the library's goal to be the hub of our Glenview community and believe that the Marketplace Innovation Center will help foster that. Um, I look forward to working with you and make a great place even greater. Thanks. Good afternoon. My name is Dave Johnson. I'm running for re-election as trustee of the Glenview Public Library. Libraries are about providing information for the public. In the past, this has meant books, and it still does. Walt Disney once said, there is more treasure in books than in all the pirates' loot on Treasure Island. Not too long before the turn of the 21st century, providing information for the public also came to mean computers and other electronic information sources. Such electronic resources are continuing to grow and expand at an ever-accelerating pace, and they are now firmly entrenched as an important part of the Glenview Public Library's collection. But now, a scant 19 years after the turn of the century, the nature of information is expanding once again. Benjamin Franklin, among many other accomplishments, was America's first librarian. Arguably, the most significant contribution to public knowledge was the 1731 Library Company of Philadelphia, which he founded. Franklin inspires us when he says, tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. The new innovation center now being designed will provide a maker space where kids of all ages from one to 101 will be able to be involved and to contribute to their own and to other store of knowledge and information. Wikipedia says, a library makerspace, also named hackerspace or hack lab, is an area and or service that uh, uh, offers library patrons an opportunity to create intellectual and physical materials using resources such as computers, 3D printers, audio and video capture and editing tools, and traditional arts and crafts supplies. As a trustee of the Glenview Public Library, I am deeply, deeply committed to this plan. And I'm also trying to foster such involvement and such maker activities on my own website, bds-soft.com. Please join me, along with the other library trustees, and the directors and the staff of the library in working together to make these new endeavors a reality. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Welcome, everyone. I should start out by saying any good board member knows that, that when you're out of the boardroom, you do not speak on behalf of your colleagues. In this instance, though, to you, to you folks gathered, I can speak with confidence for my colleagues on the Board of Trustees and the staff leadership when I say that we're, we've been delighted to host this event this afternoon. Thank you to the members of the League of Women Voters of Glencoe and Glenview, the Glens. Right? I'm Alan Reuter, 
and I'm running for, for my second four-year term as, as trustee of the Glenview Public Library. I've lived here for 40 years, I just realized. I thought about that today. And it's, 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 as others have noted, it, it goes by fast. I, uh, I grew up in Iowa at where one of the treats was to see my little hometown of, of uh, 800 people dripping wet uh, create its own library in the 1960s. It was a rather dingy, moldy basement office, but that's where I checked out the Hardy Boys and read every one of them. Fast forward, uh, and I landed at Northwestern University in the, in, in the late 70s for graduate studies, which in turn brought me to the Glenbrook High Schools, where I spent 33 great years teaching English, history, and directing the Academy for International Studies. By my reckoning, I've taught just over 3,000 students, and I'm always delighted to stay in touch with them, and I'm especially delighted when they decide to return to, to the area, which so many of them have. So. As a teacher, I worked very closely with librarians. I, I was one, I, I didn't teach any new work of literature without, without my favorite librarian doing the, 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 the scut work first, the preparatory work of all the research and everything, and I, I, I relied on them greatly. So when the opportunity arose in 2015 to apply for a vacant seat on the Board of Trustees, I jumped at it. I didn't, I'd very much enjoyed my 12 years of service on the Glenview uh, Plan Commission and the Appearance Commission, but I was ready for a change. So after that two years, I, had to, uh, I ran for re-election two years ago uh, to fill out the, the unexpired two years of that term, and now I'm seeking a second term. In my years on the library board, I served the first two years as chairman of the Strategic Planning Committee, and these past two years as board president. We have a wonderfully eclectic group of trustees serving our community, and to experience how the, the, the library, how this institution weaves itself ever more deeply into our community's fabric has been deeply gratifying. It's a really honored to serve. And uh, I hope that you will vote for Tom, Dave, and Alan come April the 2nd. Thanks very much, everybody. And shall we applaud for the combined group? This concludes our panel. This has been essentially the meat part. Now we're off to the greet part. Please take advantage of the candidates' availability and willingness to be here and to answer your questions. So ask your questions or just say hello or thank them for running. Remember, early voting starts this Monday at the Village Hall. Election day is April 2nd. And finally, yes, in case you wonder, it does matter that you vote in this local election. Thank you for coming. <laughs>